So this is Chris consuming a large river prawn caught by the nearby river. Show, show us the prawn. Right? Yeah, of course. Show, show us the prawn. Yeah, here you go. Oh my god. Say hi. Um. Looks so good. I had... How much did the prawn cost? Five, five, five ringgit. Yeah, that's 50 baht or a dollar, a dollar eighty. And just now, Chris had a clam, which was like a ringgit each, and it was massive. You can still see the leftover on the shelf. Yes, look at how big that is. Yeah, but yesterday we had a big meal, and uh, we had, we shared. Four large river prawns, and I got a massive allergy, so I'm staying away from seafood for a while. Yeah. The face of the face of frustration, followed by the face of pure. Nope. Fresh? Yep. Damn. I approve this. Yep. Chris Lau approving Saba Shrimp. Alright, we're recording here and I just heard Chris, Mr. Chris Lau here say something. I just got bitten by a mosquito. Oh no, he also said that he's never seen a... Firefly! Oh my god. It's not common in Hong Kong. So. Uh, yeah, but you lived how many years in Australia? Three and a half. Three and a half years in Australia and you've never seen a firefly? Wait, where in Australia do you see a few, I think there's a few places, <coughs> I think. Um, no. Still no. Oh my god, so tonight we'll break, we'll pop his uh, firefly uh, virginity. Looking forward to having my mind blown. Yeah, oh, you'll be blown. And I'll celebrate with a cake with you. Who? Yeah? So here we are. Check out the fireflies. Focus with the figure, okay? It's not possible to take picture. And that's the moon. It's pretty bright. Chris, what do you think about the fireflies? Um, I think it's awesome. It's like Christmas tree. It's like Christmas, but a month before Christmas. A month before Christmas. So our lobster and uh, fish came. How much was the lobster, Chris? I think 35 ringgit. Which is? Which is, I'm not sure about, just like $70 Hong Kong. And how much would you pay, be paying that in Hong Kong? 8 to 9 US dollars. Yep. Yeah. 
And then Hong Kong, how much more expensive is it? Oh, that looks uh, amazing. I don't know if for a size like this, it would probably cost 150 Hong Kong. So it's like 20 US ish. My god, dude, the sambal looks amazing. So I've done some correcting of my um, exposure. You can see a lot better now. Pretty intense market. A little back area here too. And far over there there's handicrafts. Actually behind there's handicrafts and something's on fire. Chris, dig in bro. Oh, now? Yeah, why not? Oh, yeah, good point. Oh, there it is. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, there it is. Thank God. Thank God. The fish, 40 bucks. The, yeah, it was 45, not bucks, yo. So we just finished, and we'll just give you a quick run through of what the market is like. It's a pretty crazy market. And this is the well, we were at the seafood section, and now we're at the uh, cooked, cooked food aisle where dessert, yes. And there's the other section, which is um, on the other side that way, there's a handicrafts market. How was the fish and lobster? It was awesome. Are you, are you coming back to Saba just for definitely, the fish? Definitely, definitely. Yeah? Yeah. That's crazy. Cheap hotels, cheap fly. I'm definitely coming back. Oh my god, this is like an advertisement. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, we're gonna shoot it. Alright, go. Okay, what should I do? I don't know. Would you come back to Saba for uh, Kota Kinabalu for food? I'll definitely come back to Kinabalu. Oh my god. <laughs> You're terrible. Okay. Cancel that ad. Uh, Cancel please. that ad. Sorry, what did you do for a living, Chris? I am a journalist. A journalist? Actually. Right, I'm right. A journalist that don't speak English. Well. Uh, <laughs> can't converse with the camera. I don't think really well. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> In my nature, I mumbles and I skip words. All right, so Chris just found pocket tissues and he's ecstatic and I he's telling us a, a story. I thought it was a very Hong Kong thing. Yeah, so tell us about the story. A, a friend visiting um, from Australia told me it's a very Hong Kong thing to do. So yeah, so apparently they have to do Pocket tissues there and ice creams there. Oh yeah, pocket tissue might. Mark. Chris, what you got there? Uh, you got nothing? Oh, What's oh, this? Oh, yeah, wait, wait, I got this. It's poisonous. Where is that? There it is. People. Oh, monitor lizard. So we're on uh, Pulau. Where, where, what island are we on? Sapi. Yeah. And it's got a few monitor lizards. How annoying should I be? So, just so here's Mr. Monitor Lizard. His natural habitat. Where is he? There he is. Oh, he's camera shy. Oh, I think it can, dude. Oh, it can? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's how they cross islands and stuff, right? <laughs> Did you say it was majestic? Yes, I did. Actually, I don't want to corner it. I think we're cornering it. Let's, oh, let's back sorry. off a bit. Yeah, it's got no place to go. Help me. I have an image. There you go. So you were saying something? People in Australia don't what? They don't say con. They say dickhead. 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 They say dickhead, you say? Dickhead. A dickhead. So where where about Tiri? Um, we're in. Shit, I forgot the name of the island. Um, Mamuntik. Okay. This is a very peaceful island. So um, the tribes here are friendly with each other. Yeah, they are. They are. They are. Even when they sell, um, I don't know, drugs and stuff, they don't. They they're happy sharing their territories. So they're not very territorial um, gangs. Not like the Bloods and the Crips, right? Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, and. We're, get, we're about to go snorkel, that's awesome. And we're gonna do 
uh, see walking later on with um, a digital uh, digital camcorder included. So we'll get um, to shoot free video under the water. That's so cool. cool. That is sweet. So sweet is. Sweet is, bro. Sweet is, bro. Sweet, sweet is. is. Sweet is. Yeah, just for a background, Chris and I we went to uh, went to Australia together. So I guess that kind of justifies our uh, mocking of the Australian and Kiwi accent. Is that all right? That's uh, okay, right? Not really. Not offended. I don't think it's offensive. Yeah, it's not offensive. Not offensive at all. Yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of tourists here, even during low season. Lots of Chinese tourists and the oceans there. All right, so we're checking out the roof of our hotel. Chris, what's happening? What's happening? Um, there is a huge mosque that reminds me I still haven't paid a visit to a mosque yet. Which you want to, which he's here for. Oh, but look at this. Look at that. This is a huge reception area. I think it's really cool over there. Um, oh, they have a wine cellar too. Look at that. Dude, how many stars was this hotel? Uh, wow. Well, this is a view you don't get all the all. Dude, this place is an amazing... This place is an amazing view. Ouch. It looks like a favela. Oh. You called it, right? Oh, guys skateboarding yeah. there too. That's cool, man. So yeah, let's take... Mate, you're gonna take photos of the mosque or what? I don't have that kind of zoom. No, I'm gonna go to the mosque and take pictures of the mosque. Tomorrow? You'll go tomorrow? Yeah. Oh man, this is sick. Look at this view. Amazing, mate. It's amazing. Chris just almost died. He almost fell into the cliff there and then his head would have bashed against this glass. Not true. So there's two big mosques here. That one's one. Forgot. We don't know what that's called. We're terrible travelers. And is that the other one over there? Uh, the blue headed one? Probably. Maybe. And you can see the mountains in the background. Slightly drizzling. Man, this is a view. Yeah, there's a pool here. A 3.5 star pool and a gym, which I don't know how to use, obviously. So, Chris, what have we found? We found double rainbow! <laughs> double rainbow, where? All the way across the rainbow. Way up Maybe it's just part of the publicity scheme by this. Meridian. Lemurian. 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 No, I got too close here, but if we look back from here, there's actually a full rainbow. Like, look at the rainbow, mate. It's a full rainbow. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. And Chris has never seen a full rainbow. And fireflies. And fireflies. These silly Hong Kong people. So Chris, where are we? Uh, we're, uh, we are, <laughs> seriously, I don't know where we are. Um, along the ocean somewhere. Yeah, we're somewhere kind of along the coastline. Um, we're pretty close to the pier where you take the boat to the islands. Um, and it's the sunset. And now we're having a wonderful, incredible sky there. The it's incredible. Amazing. We have the locals here. Uh, yeah, and the funny thing is I love how you can see a super yacht there. Not a super yacht, but a very nice looking yacht. And just across it, you'll see a, a village. I mean, not a village, a market. And Chris, we saw a slums earlier, right? From the hotel roof? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which is pretty interesting. So wondering where all the people live. Yeah, and we'll, we'll be figured it out. Apartments, but um, we figure we not figured more it out. people will live in those yeah. upscale apartments. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna leave this to film for a second. The 
looks amazing, right? It does. It looks so picturesque. Alright, this is the second night at the market. We just wanted to show you what it's like when it's hustling and bustling. This is currently at 6 o'clock, so it just started. So it's absolutely insane. We're in the vegetables aisle and the fruits. Tons of people here. Beautiful looking mangoes. Absolutely beautiful. Tons of people. And here's a Chris taking photo. Such handsome. So Chris and I, we decided to uh, walk up to the second level of, uh, of our shopping mall and we came across this. It's a halal food cafeteria, but half, obviously more than half of it is closed considering the time. Yeah, pretty interesting. I they recommend people to go to uh, places where they say uh, where, where it says non-Muslim, because that's what it says over there. So my bits are packed and I'm ready to go. Let's go! Let's go! Ugh, are you going out too? Yeah. You gonna get some, you gonna get some food, mate? Yes. Get some food. So how's the trip so far? Chris. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah, you said. But it has come to the um, saddest moment. This isn't the saddest moment. What's the saddest? The saddest moment is when you go to the restaurant Damn. and they have no laksa. Oh. That's bad, the saddest bad moment. Person. I'm a bad person. Moi, it's a realistic. It's a realistic walk. I mean, not too realistic. It's impossible to run out of food here, dude. Yeah, I mean, if that restaurant is closest, I can go to, to any other multiple multitude of restaurants. Toads. Yeah, my right. oh, look at that! Look at all that. Awesome. It's cool. So Chris is gonna go get a moss tom tomorrow, which is great. Which yes. is something I missed out. Um, so apparently, there's a floating moss. A floating um, moss, mate. Yeah, I'm gonna go check it out. That's crazy. It is intense. Are you gonna miss me, Chris? Am I gonna what? Are you gonna miss me, bro? Yeah. Can we have a walk? Yeah, sure, bro. Just have a look here. Come here. Oh, jeez. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. So weird. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go. Cool. Stop touching my crotch. Crotch. <laughs> so I'm gonna check out now, and uh, I'm gonna go see Andrew and Kuching. Oh, he's going to text me. It's so cool. Coincidence that I met him when my wife started operating coffee shops. Oh, nice. Because he used to come to the coffee shop to get some extra beer. Yeah. And I met him and I said, oh shit, hey, where are you that doing? <laughs> no, no, I'm doing tours. Ah, I'm doing the same thing. And then we start to meet up. Oh, they form one company. Things. It's crazy. This is Andrew doing his work. Research. The back end of um of um. I might change my vlog name. Oh no! Wait, wait, what is it called now? I don't know. I'm I'm still thinking. Okay. I hope to get inspiration on this trip. I can see your aperture. Right, it's crazy. I love your fine lens. Don't 
don't sing, Michael. Please don't sing. Dude, I can, I'm a beautiful singer. What are you talking about? My mom tells me I'm a beautiful singer. Are you, tell, are you calling my mom a liar? <laughs> what? Malaysian means poison. For what? Indonesia, yeah, visa means poison. Visa in Malay is poison. Uh. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Indonesia is bole. <laughs> poison is bole. Uh. No, in Indonesia means it's like uh, if we translate to our Malay is bole. Uh. Yeah. Oh, bole lah. Yeah. yeah. Indonesian say visa. Visa diatur. Yeah, can be arranged. Yeah. But if we really translate into our Malaysian language... Wait, sorry, how many cats do you have, Danny? More than 10. And two dogs? No, five dogs. You have five no, dogs no, and I ten cats? Seven dogs now. Se seven seven dogs. dogs? What happened? And they one. multiply it. Ah, people always give uh, uh, baby puppies. Oh, are you the local um, good-hearted uh, animal SPCA. lover? <laughs> yeah. Sano. So Kuching, a city friendly for uh, friendly for animals. Uh, Kuching means cat. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. So is it a legal requirement to own ten cats in Kuching? <laughs> that's a different meaning. <laughs> <laughs> I have one tortoise. <laughs> that's crazy. What does it mean? It, mean, it kind of like protects the soul inside yeah. the head, is it? No, it's protect the souls from going to the head. Oh, so 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 that the soul will not go into the head. Yeah. So like the enemy get, cuts off your head. If we get like for those uh, enemies who get this guy's head, they don't get they don't get the soul. Oh. Just having a casual talk about scalps and uh, souls. <laughs> yeah, trade a wife for a scalp. Then where would the soul be if the soul doesn't rise to the head? It will be in the body. You'll just be in a body. And that sounds like bad luck. Uh, I really hope that I can get to see a tattoo like that. There's still one guy. Uh, they still have it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I really want that photo. They don't have this uh, the one from back. No? Uh, oh. Sounds like there's a business opportunity there. Like, could you, you know, set Free up a... Free service? No. Like, scalp rental company. Like, you can have like, you know, if someone wants to get married, you ask them why you want the scalp, and then, you know, they say, I just want to get married, then you just rent the scalp. Loan the scalp? Yeah, loan the scalp, and then they show it to the dad, nah. and they return it, no? No. That sounds more peaceful. Yeah. Here we are at a market. Oh, uh, which market are we at? Uh, Market in Syrian. Syrian market? Where it, we're going to buy food. We're buying food for the villagers and a gift. And ourselves. No, gift will be later. Oh, gifts will be later? Yeah. Okay, so this is our food. So this village is actually under a building. And that's our guy, Danny. He's got beautiful hair. So it's pretty nice and cooling inside. I really like this market. And there's also a separate market for uh, fish and uh, I, I suspect handicrafts too. Shaking with music. Wow. 
everyone is trying to carry out the best or the largest speakers they can have <laughs> and put it outside and then everyone to try to play uh, just act like a DJ to play their favorite CDs nice so this lake was created by Borneo's first dam, is that correct? No. No? That's not correct? Yeah, that's correct. That's correct, right? Danny? Yeah. We're gonna go down the river. That's cool. <laughs> On the boat, a little, little long boat. Okay. You got Denny in the back. There. gentleman there. We're headed to somewhere in that direction. Tops. Oh god, that was close. Oh, yeah. That was scary. Finally we're in the shade man, that was, that was a long time in the open. I think we're gonna have to go through another patch of forest here.
go again. against the mountain, ain't nothing, yo. Tree branches are coming out of the water, oh, yeah, ain't nothing. Long. long houses to the left, just regular big fun things. Oh. Another, another bit over there to, to get through, but goodness. Oh, oh, this is gonna be pretty sweet. Finally! Oh, we're not even stopping here. We're going deeper. Another long house. Wow! Looks so we're gonna continue on. It's getting lower, you can tell by the uh, different green shade of, uh, of the clay soil here. Yes, that's clay. Ooh. Danny, what happened here? Yeah. What is this? Just dead trees? It looks like it's been washed up. What's going on? We're entering the river now, so that was in its entirety probably the lake. We got sh it's shallower ground here yet with trees, so our uh, elder here is quite active with his hand signals. Got some branch front sticking out. It's a log suspended by another thing behind it. Casually, big one style. of rice here apparently, wet rice and dry hill rice. It's the hilly variety. And Andrew just noted that the uh, air smells sweet here, which is which is always a good thing. Hello! <laughs> good looking chap. Uh oh. That's awesome. I'm out of the bathroom.
So this is called baby ayams. And that's a that's ayam right there. Shy ayam. Where are you? There you are. And this is the uh I think one of the houses of the longhouse. We got a few pets here. The dog. A few dogs. And this is their view actually when they wake up in the morning. Interesting thing is I saw a few of these little homes here that's been padlocked, which is interesting. And Andrew. Andrew's way over there in the red. Where is he? So we're in a Iba, Ib, what do you call it? Ibgan? Iban. Iban, which is a type of that Dayak. Wanderer. Uh, wanderer, they're, they traditionally stay by the river, and this is their housing, this is their abode. Lots and lots of people, lots of uh, things on the wall. For like, what is this, five dogs in the, in the communal? So this is the communal space. Uh, what are your impressions, Andrew, from an architectural standpoint? I think the first thing I noticed is the smell. Oh yeah, this place does have a smell. I believe it's called indigenous smell. They have a roof. We're in a communal longhouse. We're having tea before dinner, I reckon. We're in a little round table conversation. <laughs> oh, the lights come on. Nice, they're generated. <laughs> so we're sharing uh, homemade moonshine with the villagers here. It's oh, rice whiskey. I'm so tipsy. <laughs> and Andrew's pretty tipsy now. <laughs> He's gonna be hangry soon. So that's a shot of it. It's very clear, and that's rice wine, which is what they make at the longhouse as well. The chief. That's Chief Matthew. Oh, that's all right. Chief Matthew. Rice wine, and that's Danny. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm just pretty drunk now, <laughs> and that's the. Uh, and you're hungry. Yeah. So this is a uh, group we're hanging out with today. I think they go topless like when no one's like, oh, man. Everyone goes topless if there's people there. Like, they don't wear it. They don't wear Okay, I'm gonna stop the video now. Oh. So we're having uh, this chicken and forest fern dish and it is absolutely amazing. Dude, I love chicken. Yeah, the uh, Iban share everything. They share the booze and the food together. You can see these two bowls. You, I love chicken, man. Let's, um, Veggie, veggie. Uh, Ayam. Yeah, this one. Uh, okay. Yeah, this one. Kelly. Uh, Spicy. Oh, sambal. Uh, sambal. Uh, okay. Terima kasih. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jangan malu. Sini, uh, chill, chill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wash your hand. Ah, chill, chill. It's dinner time and Andrew's drunk. Yeah, I am good man for you. You are looking for me. You are both uh, Yeah. Yes, of course, yeah. Terima kasih. So we are on road to do some midnight spearfishing. So we have to tra traverse the same path we took earlier. <laughs> Just in pitch blackness. Current time is 10.30. So this is the first fishing location. Uh, looks like the two Iban people have found fish here. One's tossed the fish towards us, but it landed in the tree somewhere. I think. Yeah, they caught a fish. Andrew, are you ready? Are you Andrew to to uh, to claim your fisherman lifestyle? So um, the money, the water is really muddy today, but the fisherman uh, thinks that we can give it a shot. It's that good, apparently. It's that good. Okay. Oh, what was that? Is there a fish here? Yep, they're in the water. 
So Andrew's uh, making a move to get down in there. Oh, third fish. <laughs> third fish. We got two fish there too. Awesome. So uh, yeah, we've just been told that they do this. They haven't done this traditionally, but they do this now because the fish are idle. They're sleeping like chickens. One, two, three. <laughs> so we just got beached um, on seemingly shallow water. I uh, get off. I get off. I get off. Go. He's trying to push us. <laughs> Not with my fat ass on it. <laughs> oh, we're moving. Okay, awesome. It's so it's low tide, so where we previously could have boat across is just plain, like perhaps less than knee knee height. This is <laughs> Hope we get to the place safely. So here we are, just you know, traversing through um, just a, for a dead forest that's been submerged in the middle of the night, which you can't see. At low tide, we got beached once thanks to a uh, low tide, but we're trying to get to a second uh, fishing spot. We got three fish in our first spot, so we're gonna need a little bit more to feed a longhouse about 50 people. This is this is our uh, this is our room. My DSLR ran out of battery, so you're gonna have to forgive me. But this footage is probably gonna be better. Um, that's the toilet. Uh, with lots of dead insects. That's my ghost pet. My, my, my pet is Mikuti. Look at that. Yeah, we have some luxury chairs. Oh, we got a toilet. Hey, insect paper. Is there any more? Yeah, we can make insect paper there. Uh, we got a shower inside our room, so that's nice. Let's step outside, Andrew. Let's say hi to the world. We overslept. It's now almost 10. So this is morning. It was super noisy this morning though. I couldn't sleep. It was noisy at night. Super noisy. Super noisy. It was like chickens and everything. God, it was so bad. Good. What is that? Is that a whale? Hello? Oh, that's a fish. It's a gun. So we're going to the kitchen now. They have a dedicated kitchen room, which is pretty exotic. Um, hello. The kitchen room is here. Hello. Uh, breakfast. Mm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's for uh, breakfast? Fish, ba oh, banana, yeah, goreng pisang, yeah, mie goreng, and fruit. Nasi goreng. Yeah, nasi goreng. Oh, nice. Hot. Mm. Egg, nice. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Gonna get into some food now. Mm. Tricking into the jungle, getting. Organic gardening tips from Denny and uh, sustainable use of uh, jungle plants. Mm. Tons of mosquitoes here too, as expected. The leaf that they used last night for, for the fish. Oh, right, to put the fish on. Ah. Okay. This one, oh, this is, uh, we call it jungle candy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jungle candies. Is it sweet? It's not really sweet. Something like uh, wild berries. Oh, but, but not really. Uh, try to get some. The dry one, not ah, so much. Yeah, this one this is one's better, is it? This one is okay. As long as it's uh, half exposed. Yeah. I mean, when it get too dry, you don't taste anything. Mm. Taste something like berries. this. 
Oh, this has a worm inside. No way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Better eat that. Eat the worm? <laughs> I'm joking. Protein, bro. Danny. Danny's walking upstream with us. And uh, Andrew has his Onitsuka tiger shoes again, so. He took them off for the river walk. Well, it's not a river, it's a tributary. Uh, Daniel, how nice is the river? Yeah. How nice is the river? Cool, man. Pretty cool? Yeah, that Danny said uh, quite important things today. He said that uh, the dam that we saw, we were just at, uh, that's taking away a lot of the water level here. Um, you can see that, I'm guessing, only a short while ago, the water is a little bit higher. You brought a Google, Andrew? Andrew, did you bring goggles? Your bag? <laughs> I don't know, man. No, we took it out last night. Yeah, so uh, yeah, it's for this, you know, for Kuching people, uh, the Iban are sacrificing a lot of land for roads as well as um, logging. Oh, yeah, land for logging as well, as well as uh, the water level. Like, the water is very critical because they use uh, boats to transport goods to and from their village. So, if the water level is too low, like we saw last night. It's gonna, the boat is going to stop, uh, get beached. So that's an indirect effect. I'm not too sure the government knows, but yeah. This is the river walk. But now we're gonna go learn to uh, harvest some. Wait, what, what are we harvesting, Andrew? Raw banana. Raw banana shoots for our dinner tonight. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna go uh, net fishing and. Uh, the Ivan make their own nets, which is pretty interesting. Considering it's very labor intensive. Looks like it's a deep forest. It looks like it, but is it really that deep, Andrew? Yeah, actually, I know. It's pretty deep. I'm deep. I'm, I'm, I'm just floating on the water. Yeah, like he's not shallow. Yeah, he's not. He's actually pretty shallow. I'm not touching the ground. I'm half walking. He's on actually water. pretty shallow. Andrew's pretty shallow. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, the path has run out, so we're just gonna go up, upstream on this tributary, and uh, we're gonna go to uh, I think like a small patch of some plant we're gonna harvest and uh, learn how to use the nets uh, the Ivan people make. Awesome. So this is all Ukum territory. Ukum is the. Um, is the name of the village slash longhouse? No, as in f fine. No, it's not like fine. I'm fine. Oh, it's not that? No, it's fine. Like find. Yeah. Oh, really? No. Why? Come on, everybody knows that. No, but why is it called, why is the name fine? So when people go there, you have to pay a ukum. No. Then he has no answer. <laughs> <laughs> then, he, then, he, then he has no answer this time. It's just the way it is, right? Just the way it is? Oh, like one of the chief is called no, sour fruit. Uh, sour is behind it. Uh, no, fruit of, no, sour of the fruit. Why? Why is it? And I will let the chief. Yeah. Alright, coming up. Story of why it's called fine as in fine um fine not like a fucking parking fine. So we're looking for uh what are we looking for again? Banana shoot. Ah banana. Uh, banana shoots. Do we find it? Yeah. Awesome, let's go. Check it out. There's been ants everywhere. Oh. Yeah, I made it up in your pot. Ah. Okay. The, that one is oh, the right. shoot. Yeah. They want the shoot. Okay. Ah. Careful, machete. Yeah, machete. Careful. Alright, harvesting. 
wild banana shoot. So that he'll strip off the. Oh, and he box. chops that off. Wow, with one fell ah. swoop. All right. Boleh makan? Boleh. Tapi masak dulu. Tapi buang dia punya kulit. Ah, saya buang dia punya kulit. Ah, ah, saya bagi bagi tahu kom. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Nanti rumah panjang kamu uh, bagi so, beli kamu tahu makan dia masak dulu ah oh. dia punya apa kami look at that hmm what does it smell the cucumber oh yeah mm. fresh cucumber mm. oh careful don't look picture of uh, Andrew trying to uh, fish Iban style net fishing that's a homemade net right. Yeah. Homemade net, all the One, nets they use. Yeah. 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 You got the leaf? Congrats, bro. Congrats. Well, dude, you well. <laughs> So he's the elder. Gentlemen, there's the elder. <laughs> Alright, take three. Oh, call him a mile. Those are real fish, by the way. I mean, they're real fish, but they've been dead. You hold on to the net. Hey, pretend I took a fish. It's a video, or it's a camera, or it's a picture. It's a video. Oh, damn it. Terrible. Screw, man. Terrible. All right, ready, ready, ready. Ready. You know what they're saying? Not at all. We, we made two new friends from us. Belgium. 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 So that's cool. So hello, sorry, just video. <laughs> it's a video. And yeah, we're just waiting for uh, our food to be done. So, uh, oh yeah, okay, so this is weird, right? So I told, I told you then so, that I, we didn't eat in the evening yet. So this is the funny thing. You didn't eat it's no meaning, just for just for the name of this one. Just a name on this one. I think so. I've forgotten the dates. We lost track. So Ukom doesn't mean fine? No meaning. Uh, it's head meaning, but I, I don't know how to explain it. Explain it, it. okay. Uh. Maybe when... I, because yes. I cannot speak in language. Yeah, yeah. when Danny comes. <laughs> when Danny <laughs> comes. When Danny comes. Uh, when Danny comes. Topic he's talking about. Yeah, so Boma, about Boma, he talks too much? Yeah. Yeah. He's a hardworking, good hearted fellow, though. Yeah, Dida! Dida, Dan Nipu. Aga? Kamu Aga? Aga? Jana. Oh, hey, hey, this. His name is Jana. She wants to get up. Dida, Prana Nipu. Dida, Prana Nipu. Why? Jana. Yeah, what a name. Lipu, Aku, what a. Ah, rice. Rice. Nama Lipu. Aga, Aku, what a. Jana. Jaba? Jana, 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 Malin, 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 Jana, Malin, Jana, Jana, Malin, Jana, Malin, Jana, Jana, Malin, Jana, Jana, Malin,
Say goodbyes to the the uh, longhouse ukum. That's we, we still didn't ask why it's called ukum. Yeah, we still don't know. It's a mystery. Like it's, a mystery. it's a mystery. It's a mystery. We're gonna we're gonna miss these people. We'll make you come back here again. Dude, this well, if if they if you know if they're okay with it, we're waiting for one. We call you come because you come. You funny. Back. funny. <laughs> come back. Waiting for the petrol. Uh, yeah, the village is way up there. We say good, our goodbyes. That should be good. That's it.